Assalamu alaikum. Uh, Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Today's presentation is about tachyarrhythmia. Uh, how to treat tachyarrhythmia in emergency department and uh, approach for all tachyarrhythmia management. Uh, if we'll start with tachyarrhythmia uh, algorithm for European Resuscitation Council, uh, it's large uh, uh, algorithm uh, full of details. We will take uh, one by one or step by step. Uh, first, when you receive patient in tachycardia, and usually in emergency department, uh, this patient might be a, a critically ill patient. We, as we always say, treat the patient and don't treat an ECG or don't treat a monitor. So for treatment of patient, you have to do A, B, C, D approach to assess the patient. And during uh, your assessment, of course, you will measure blood pressure, saturation, uh, put ECG, insert the IV line, and uh, of course, record the 12 lead ECG. And while doing EBCD approach, you have to identify any reversible causes uh, for tachycardia, like anemia, like pain, like electrolyte uh, abnormality, like hypovolemia, and they treat these reversible causes. Second point, search for life-threatening features uh, like shock, syncope, myocardial ischemia and heart failure or acute heart failure. And this life-threatening features are resulted from the tachycardia. Uh, uh, so it must be resulted from a tachycardia. So this tachycardia caused the shock or caused the syncope or caused myocardial ischemia. So if there is any life-threatening features, you have to give the patient synchronized cardioversion, immediately synchronized cardioversion up to three attempts. First attempt, second attempt, third attempt. If the patient is conscious, consider conscious sedation. And uh, if unconscious, of course, you will give immediately synchronized cardioversion. If unsuccessful three attempts, consider giving amidrone 300 milligram over 10 to 20 minutes or procainamide 10 to 15 milligram over uh, 20 minutes. And after finishing antiarrhythmic medication, you can consider repeating synchronized cardioversion. And of course, don't forget to seek expert help at this stage. If the patient has no life-threatening features and uh, uh, no shock, no syncope, no myocardial ischemia, no heart failure, this patient is stable. So if the patient is stable, ask yourself one question. Uh, uh, what is the width of your QRS? Is it a wide QRS or narrow QRS? Complex wide or narrow? Wide QRS is more than 0.12 uh, second or 12 milliseconds. So it's wide complex ask yourself, is it regular or irregular? Or it's narrow complex, ask yourself, is it regular or irregular? So for each one, wide and narrow, is it regular and or irregular? For irregular wide complex tachycardia like this one, consider uh, atrial fibrillation with uh, uh, bundle branch block. So treat as atrial fibrillation. Other possibility might be polymorphic ventricular tachycardia or torsad qua, and its treatment is uh, magnesium sulfate. Consider two gram IV magnesium sulfate infusion over 10 minutes. This is for irregular white complex tachycardia. If it's regular white complex tachycardia, so consider ventricular tachycardia or other option might be SVT, supraventricular tachycardia with bundle branch block. Actually to differentiate between both of them need 12 lead ECG and uh, many criteria how to differentiate between of them. But if you are in doubt, treat as ventricular tachycardia. If you are sure ventricular tachycardia or uncertain, treat as ventricular tachycardia. Give procainamide 10 to 15 milligram per uh, a kg over 20 minutes or a around 300 milligram over 10 to 60 minutes. If you are sure this is sobraventricular tachycardia with bundle branch break, uh, block, sorry, treat as sobraventricular tachycardia. 
Uh, other uh, uh, limb of the algorithm, if it's narrow complex uh, uh, tachycardia, uh, uh, sorry, before going to narrow complex tachycardia, if uh, treatment for regular white complex tachycardia by giving IV uh, antiarrhythmic medication is not effective, consider synchronized cardioversion up to three attempts. And if the patient is conscious, consider conscious sedation. Uh, uh, now we'll go to narrow complex uh, uh, tachycardia. If this narrow complex tachycardia is regular and most probably regular tachycardia with uh, high rates like 180 or 160, 150. So most probably this is SVT or supraventricular tachycardia. First start with vagal maneuvers, uh, uh, like uh, asking for valsalva maneuver or putting eyes over the patient face, especially if he's a child. So as a, a vagal, after vagal maneuvers, if ineffective, consider giving adenosine. And uh, in the new guidelines in 2021, we are giving up to three doses of adenosine, six milligram and 12 milligram, and third dose is 18 milligram. Previously it was 12 milligram. Now the new guidelines, it's uh, up to 18 milligram in the third those. Adenosine is very short uh, uh, half-life, so if you are giving adenosine, it's better to give it an anticubital fossa vein, insert cannula, put three-way uh, uh, connection. One connection puts adenosine, and uh, other one put a normal saline push. After giving the adenosine, immediately give the push and raise the limb until uh, it's uh, uh, to increase uh, the, the, the time it takes to, it, it goes to the heart. Don't forget before giving adenosine, ask the patient if he has any contraindication and most important contraindication is bronchial asthma and uh, inform the patient that adenosine will cause some uh, uh, decreasing in heart rate and he might feel like his heart stopped because adenosine effect on the heart is blocking the AV node patient will feel chest tightness for uh, seconds. After that, it will resolve. If uh, giving adenosine uh, three doses not effective, consider giving Vrabamil or uh, beta blockers. If not effective, consider again synchronized cardioversion up to three attempts. And of course, consult expert help or expert in uh, rhythm. For irregular narrow complex tachycardia, most probably this is atrial fibrillation. As a medication or as a treatment for atrial fibrillation, we can control the heart rate, decrease the heart rate by giving beta blocker or calcium channel blocker. Also consider uh, digoxin or amidrone if the patient is in heart failure. And if the duration of arrhythmia or heart uh, uh, pul palpitation, as the patient will complain, more than 48 hours, consider anticoagulant medication. This is the whole algorithm again. Uh, uh, European Association Council algorithm treat the patient, not treat the ECG by EBCD approach, insert IV line, and uh, uh, consider reversible causes and treat it. Search for life-threatening conditions. If there is life-threatening conditions, this is this unstable patient, immediately cardioversion up to three attempts. If no life-threatening condition, ask yourself narrow complex or white complex. For white complex, is it irregular? Would most probably uh, atrial fibrillation with bundle branch block or polymorphic VTAC or torsade de bois? And if regular white complex tachycardia, treat as ventricular tachycardia if uncertain. If you are sure this is SVT with bundle branch block, you can treat as SVT. If no response, synchronized cardioversion. For narrow complex tachycardia, is it regular? So start with vagal maneuvers, then adenosine 6, 12, 18 milligram if unsuccessful. And if all adenosine not successful, consider verbamil or beta blocker, non-successful synchronized cardioversion. Here, narrow complex tachycardia and irregular treat as atrial fibrillation 
control the rate with beta blocker or deltiazem, and digoxin or amidrone if evidence of heart failure, anticoagulate if duration is more than 48 hours. This is algorithm, again, algorithm for European resuscitation council. For uh, resuscitation council UK, almost the same algorithm, different colors. Uh, again, uh, assess the patient, ABCD approach, search for life-threatening conditions, it's the same. If there is life-threatening condition, give synchronized cardioversion. And uh, if not effective three attempts, consider amidrone and uh, repeat synchronized cardioversion. Uh, for if no life-threatening conditions, so ask yourself white complex or narrow complex, wide or broad complex, irregular, the same AF with bundle branch block or polymorphic VTAC, regular white complex tachycardia, treat with amidrone uh, 10 to 16. F narrow complex, regular start with vehicle maneuvers. Again, give six adenosine, six, 12 and 18 milligram. If ineffective rabamil or beta blocker, ineffective synchronized cardioversion again. Irregular narrow complex, this is atrial fibrillation, control rate with beta blocker, consider digoxin and anticoagulation. Uh, only point here in this algorithm, no mention for procainamide. So Station Council UK, there is no mention at all, either here for unstable patient or here for uh, a patient with white complex, only considering amidrone, no procainamide in UK. For American Heart Association algorithm for tachycardia, there is some differences between American Heart and uh, European Resuscitation and Resuscitation UK. Uh, uh, starting from the beginning, it's uh, here is mentioning uh, specifically the typical heart rate that might cause problem for the patient is heart rate more than 150. Uh, he wants to remove the, uh, uh, any uh, misunderstanding for heart rate like 120, 130, which usually sinus tachycardia sometimes it's uh, uh, or usually due to uh, shock or uh, sorry, due to hypovolemia or due to high temperature. So at that point, you have to treat the reverse because itself, not treating the tachycardia. Then again, the same uh, ABCD approach and F uh, uh, after finishing the ABCD approach, search for reversible, uh, sorry, search for life-threatening conditions. Here, adding hypotension alone, and instead of syncope, he's writing altered mental status or confusion, and uh, uh, again, shock, ischemic heart disease, or ischemic chest discomfort, and acute heart failure. If uh, there is any risk factor for life-threatening condition, considering immediately synchronized cardioversion. And here, an important addition, although the patient is unstable, unstable patient, he is considering giving adenosine IV uh, uh, for narrow complex tachycardia, unstable. Maybe because adenosine is short uh, uh, or rapid acting uh, drug. So he's considering if, if the patient has already has IV line, you can give him adenosine considered with uh, uh, or, or instead of synchronized cardioversion. If no effect for synchronized cardioversion or adenosine, it's refractory tachycardia. So uh, increase the energy level or addition of antiarrhythmic medications like uh, procainamide or amidrone. And here adding also for antiarrhythmic medication, sotalol IV, meet uh, 100 milligram. Uh, if there is no uh, life-threatening condition, ask yourself, is it white complex or narrow complex? If white complex, he's not here uh, differentiating regular and irregular. So all white complex, he can start with adenosine, if regular and monomorphic, or antiarrhythmic medication, if not regular and monomorphic. And of course, consider expert help because this is a stable patient. If uh, uh, it's narrow complex tachycardia, you can start with vagal maneuvers, and start with uh, then adenosine and beta blocker or calcium channel blocker and expert help. So what's uh, added in this algorithm in American Heart Association, American Heart Association, they are giving adenosine for unstable 
narrow complex tachycardia and adenosine again here for white complex tachycardia if it's stable uh, because it might be SVT with bundle branch block. Uh, in the algorithm itself for adenosine, American Heart Association, no mention for third dose, only first dose six milligram, second dose 12 milligram. And for brokenamide, they are giving it different way only or different calculation, 20 to 50 milligram per minute. And maximum is 17 milligram per kg. In other algorithms, they are giving maximum uh, 10 to 15 milligram per kg over uh, uh, 10 minutes. And for amidron, starting dose here, starting dose or first dose with amidron giving 150. In other algorithms, it started with 300 milligram amidron. And as we said before, uh, uh, sotalol uh, is added here as an antiarrhythmic medication can be replacing amadron and procainamide. Thank you so much and uh, see you inshallah next video.